Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Future Stars continues on, but this time it's causing a market crash. Yeah, guys, we have prices on the Future Stars cards and on the rest of the market that are crashing big time. Today, I want to talk about why and will those prices keep going down as we head into today on Sunday and through the next couple days. Or are there opportunities to buy for some prices to rise? I want to talk about that and the SPC content that could be coming today after that refresh of the icon for the very last time before it goes away today. Will EA refresh something like this or will they give us something different? And there's still a player SPC that we're eagerly awaiting that could even impact the market even more. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. Let's go after yesterday's content, starting with a icon player SPC. Yesterday, we thought there was two different SPCs that we could could get and Andre Chenchenko was one of them and he's the one that we got and honestly guys this is a good card I don't know like this isn't a card that I think I will do personally I mean I've got so many attackers in my team that this guy I don't think he makes the cut I've done a lot of team of the year SBCs that were out for attackers like Alex Morgan right I've still got some other cards maybe that I've acquired maybe you guys have acquired from doing icon player picks that are in your team evos whatever it be this is a decent looking card but i think for me it's one that i might pass on now a little bit of a look into the card he's got two play style pluses power shot and first touch plus he's also got 91 pace and 92 shooting which is pretty good he's got trivella finesse um rapid quick step and technical as his other play styles and he's four star four star he can also play right wing and i mean the sbc is craftable let's be honest it's only six squads so when you take out the bronze and the silver squad and the 82 rated squad which is very easy to do it's really only like four squads counting the loan it's the 88 rated squad in here that's making it a bit expensive but i think most people would be able to craft this in just a couple of days with some season rewards packs, especially as we get to the end. A lot of people getting those 86.3 or 87.2, and then there's the 84.20 and the 87.4. At the end, that you have to choose between. You can get some high-rated fodder from that, and high-rated fodder is down a lot. So if you're a Shevchenko fan, it's not a bad SBC, which I think is why his 370k price point is, I don't know, like a 7 out of 10. 6.5, 7 out of 10. It's a solid SBC. Not one for me that I think I'm going to get done, but favorable to most of the community for sure another SBC though that was very highly upvoted you may have just seen it right there and I'm sure a lot of you guys have already opened this the 85 plus double upgrade repeatable three times every single day fair play to EA man I mean this was also this would also have been really nice during team of the year when we had so many 82s and 83s that we've just kept doing the Team of the Week player pick, remember that, guys? This is like the exact same requirement, almost, as that Team of the Week pick. An 82-rated squad with two 84s and an 83-rated squad. So it seems like bad value because you're turning in 22 players, two squads of 11, right, to get an 85 times two. But you can do it three times, and this is all the type of fodder that we have tons of. It really might be easy to craft these if we get a player pick SBC this week, guys. An 80-plus player pick would top off this week for sure and make a really good menu grind. I know we said that last week, and we got these 82-plus upgrades, which I know not a lot of us really love. At least they're out right now, so you can do them if you want. But with an 80-plus player pick, that 85 plus double would hit different. I mean, 89% upgraded, uh, upvoted. You guys know this is just an easy SBC to get done because it's low rated fodder and it's really not that much. If you look at it from a coin standpoint, 85s are what, like six or 7,000 coins a piece? 85s are 6.8K a piece, 6.7K. So yeah, you've got about 13 to 14,000 coins worth of guaranteed card value back and it's an 18K SBC from scratch. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do and even worth value from the coins with a little bit of the risk of could, you could get a future star out of that. The risk of losing, what, four to five K and untradeable value, whatever it is, that's about as good as it gets for a gamble SBC guy. So to be honest, no complaints from me there. But in terms of fodder, maybe you noticed 84s are up 2.6 K because, of course, there's two of them required in that SBC. And then you've got, I mean, I don't think 81s and 82s have moved that much, but I'm sure they're lazy selling pretty good each day around content. And I would have to imagine that 84s could go up even more this week because every single day people are going to do that SBC as many times as they can. Look at that spike from 2.2 KM Castiles up to 2.8, 2.9. Looks like 84s are going to have an even better rise 
than they did last week with the 83 times 10 being out since they're specifically required in that 85 times two. Now we're gonna talk about fodder a little bit more towards the end of the video, um, but if you did buy 88s yesterday, GG's, because with the icon player pick refreshing, there was a nice bounce on some of that middle to high tier fodder, especially the 86s to the 88s. 88s went from about 22K to about 25,000 coins, and that's kind of where they are right now, 24 to 25K. And today's content will really depend on what makes these prices move either up or down in the next couple of days. But before we do get to that, we have to talk about the mini release and the evolutions. Let's talk about the Evo first, guys. And let's actually go to the Evo section to take a look at this. Uh, guys, EA, they, they frauded. I mean, they fumbled the bag with this Future Stars attacking midfielder evolution. Of course, not all the evolutions that we get can be stupid and insane, right? Like the one that we had on Friday with the uh, Future Stars Academy, that was sick. This one is the exact opposite, right? I mean, 100,000 coins for this upgrade is in no world worth it. It could have been good, okay? There's one of the requirements that is in this Evo that is making this Evo bad, and this Evo could have been fantastic if there's that one requirement wasn't there, and it's that Agility Max 78. Guys, I have center attacking mids that are just sitting in my club that have been waiting to be evolved. I have a Mukhtar. I've got a Romaine Alisson Drini card that I evo during Centurions that hasn't been able to be upgraded at all. And I thought, this is it. Center attacking mid upgrade. He can be upgraded. No, he's got like 88 agility. So of course he can't go into this. So this makes this evolution really not good. I mean, the upgrade that you get is not that good either for 100,000 coins, man. I know you get rapid plus. I know that you get um, you get a skill move. You get a weak foot and a skill move upgrade, which is nice. But I just think for at least right now on the game, it's not that legit. Maybe it'll be useful. I mean, it's only out for six days as well. I would say maybe it's going to be useful for a chain of Evo, but even for that, I just think that it's not going to be good enough. I think that I'm clearing, staying clear of that one. As you can tell, a lot of people are as well, even though I have one of the cards that's supposed to be one of the best in it, Undav, right? I just don't think I'm going to use this Undav card. So I don't think I'm going to put him in the Evo and spend 100K to get that card. 1% upvoted, man. So it's a little bit unfortunate. If you have somebody that you want to do inside of this Evo, then by all means, go for it. But that Evo might be one of the worst that we've had as of late. It's kind of crazy. We had a really great one on Friday, and then that one is just not very good. So that's the whole situation there with that Evo. And one thing I do want to mention is if you guys are doing the Future Stars Evo for the Academy, the Attackers one, right? Um, make sure you are checking that card after you get it done, if you get it done, because EA mentioned yesterday that there was an issue that those players were not getting their three chemistry points, which I did not notice. Uh, and they said that the issue has been fixed and all existing items have been updated. So I guess check that if you had one of those and if you're getting it done. So uh, there's a little mistake, I guess, from EA keeping the, the train rolling. A small one, but, you know, a little bit there. So, yeah, look out for that. Now, other things we had yesterday with the mini release was also mid. I mean, guys, this was just, what a mini release. I don't even know what to say about this mini release. I mean, Kundanaji is minimum price. R Richie, Ricky is minimum price as well. Center defensive mid, just a really average card. No hate against the player, just a really average card. Kundanaji is a solid, like, budget striker, but this needs to be discard, all right? One playstyle plus in his first touch. 93 pace, 90 physical. Everybody was super excited for her inform and her gold card early on in the game. This is just not that great of a card. The other play styles are good. I just think this needs to be bit, uh, basically discard, man. And then it'd be a, a decent card to maybe buy and stock one in the club. And then you've also got Lamptey, which I don't know, man. Why are we getting like all these re-release cards from Winter Wild Cards and Future Stars? I mean, now we have Balde, Doku, and Lamptey. Uh, especially Balde and Lamptey are like, okay, sure, Future Star, okay, 130,000 coins, he can play on the right and left side, he's got Jockey Plus, 3-star, 5-star, he's all pace, I used his Inform a lot earlier on in the year, it was a great card, I hope this card gets to be below 100,000 coins, because I feel like it should be there, I mean, it's okay, I don't know, that mini release though to me looks really, really mid, there were no icons in the mini release apart from the Shevchenko SBC, and EA celebrated that mid mini release by dropping absolutely crazy packs now we know the pack weight for future stars is higher right the percentages and the supply on the market both tell us that yesterday they dropped a halftime elite pack the 600k pack 
once again. And they dropped the first guaranteed uh, Future Stars player pack, a 650k pack that is an 83 times 50. Guys, this pack right here is the one that I tweeted out yesterday because I was surprised to see it. It's a pack from the UCL Road to the Final promo. 600k pack, 96% chance of a future star. I mean, come on. That is wild, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you should go and open this pack because what this is trying to do is it's trying to make you say, oh my gosh, 96% chance of a future star. I'm going to pack Harvey Elliott, Guler, Garnacho, and Doku all in the same pack. No, you're going to pack one Pablo Barrios, maybe Bissek, and then Gurma or Lei Moel. The discard future stars have such a high pack weight in these packs, guys. Um, I saw a couple people opening them yesterday. The weight is not good, as you would expect for a store pack. It just looks crazy, right? So I wanted to shout that out. And of course, this one has a 100% chance of a future stars because it's a guaranteed future stars pack, at least one of them. So yeah, guys, open those at your own risk if you want to send it and have fun for a, try to get a player. But I mean, yes, the pack weight is up, but you might as well, in, instead of spending 600K, think about how many future stars you could actually buy for 600,000 coins, especially with the price drops, guys. Like, 600,000 coins can buy you all but the super overpriced expensive cards in this team, right? I mean, James and Rodman, I would also argue, are a little bit overpriced. Although, with these price drops, our Rodman just went from extinct at 1.4 down to a million coins um, and had some crazy fluctuations in there. But, not worth opening those packs, 100%. Let's talk about these prices, though, because... Yesterday, literally, I bought Boniface, I think it was on the video or right after the video, for 400 and... What did I buy him for? I bought him right here. 460, 470K. I bought the guy right here. Sold him right here. I sold a little early. I sold at 540. He went all the way to 560. And look at this absolute cliff from 560. This guy goes all the way down to where he is now. Dropped all day yesterday. Down under 400K to 340. I just picked up two at 330 to 340 because, man, that drop in one day is too much for me for these cards being so hyped. But with all of these cards dropping and so many of the other Future Stars cards dropping as well, it is making the entire rest of the market crash. Let me show you a few more price drops. And let's talk about this Trinity Rodman because I was just able to flip one of her cards. Some people I heard were saying, oh, Nate, did you see EA put Trinity Rodman's on the market? They supplied her card out of nowhere. I, guys, again, this is very similar. This is almost a carbon copy situation of the Genduzi that happened last week after he was extinct and then he got flooded on the market. Um, guys, to me, this is just people who had this card seeing they saw prices dropping on the market. The people that were sniping this Rodman at 950, then her price range got updated last night to 1.4 mil. She went all the way up to 1.4 mil and was still extinct while the rest of the market is dropping. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So people probably stopped sniping this card and then the prices just started to drop on this card and they started to get undercuts. And then when you start to have undercuts on a card that's extinct, what do you have? Everybody that was sniping that card at an extinct price lists it up and you have a massive, massive panic drop. And that is exactly what happened with this Rodman. Um, I picked up Rodman right here for 860K, about one of them, and I just sold it for 1.05 because this card is super hyped, super rare. And I'm, I'm kid you not, chat, chat i'm doing youtube video not a stream i kid you not guys this card was 860 to 1.05 in a matter of 30 to 40 minutes it was mental that's what rarity and that's what hype can do with a lot of these cards and as you can tell from the rest of my transfer list i'm hoping the same situation happens with a lot of these future stars because i've seen them sell so good and their prices even though they were dropping a lot yesterday people are just buying these cards to try them out because they're fun and they're different harvey elliott i, I had to pick one up at 71k and if that's still sitting there i'll go buy another one because i mean look at this man he was just 120 i sold him at 127 yesterday Bought him at 110, sold him at 127. He went all the way down to 70K. I mean, even if this card drops further later on today, that is a crazy card. That is a crazy card for 70,000 coins with two playstyle pluses. And that's why I think you're seeing this market dropping right now. There's three reasons. The first reason is these cards with two playstyle pluses and pretty cracked stats, also with players that haven't gotten promo cards either ever or you know, very many times at all in this game, have gotten boost cards. They're very exciting and their pack weight's pretty high. The pack weights are pretty high. 
They're exciting cards with good stats. They're meta with two playstyle pluses. That's kind of two reasons right there, right? And then the third one is the rest of the content on this game has been solid as well. A lot of people, especially in attackers and teams, are using those brand new Evo cards from the Future Stars Academy Attacker Objective. We had an absolutely insane Claudia Pena SBC, which I haven't done yet, but I will. Yesterday we had Shevchenko, which is semi-upvoted, pretty decent card. And then we've had some good upgrade packs as well, like the 85 double yesterday, refresh of the icon pick that's draining coins. So good SBC content, really good e evolution content, and then cards and packs that so many people want to try, and the fact that so many people can afford these because they're packable or maybe if you haven't packed one like me like guys i'm sitting here saying that future stars are packable and your boy hasn't even packed one yet not a one now we're going to try to do that and we probably will be able to at least pack one of the fodder ones here soon but you see how supplied they are in the market so it's more we're going to look at it from a standpoint of supply these cards are packable because we see they are supplied on the game that's what's dragging these prices down right now those three reasons for sure. Now, again, can I just show you a couple more price drops because it's kind of crazy. And let's go away from Future Stars for a second. Guys, I sold Lauren James for 1.35 million Saturday morning. She's 800K, right? Wild. Let's go to some of the icons. Gerard was 900. Now he's 650. Petit was 800. Now he's 488. Roberto Carlos is down a million. Seedorf is down 100,000 coins. If I had, okay, Wayne Rooney's on the market right now. Is that actually there? No, it's not. I would be very, very, very worried for this Wayne Rooney card because it's a Trinity Rodman situation 2.0. I would not be surprised if this card comes back onto the market. It doesn't even have two playstyle pluses. It only has one, and it's been extinct this entire time. I know it's an icon, and it's more rare, but I think that it's overpriced and it's going to drop a bit. Maybe even the same now with Maldini and Ronaldinho. I'm sure they're really rare too, but with the rest of the market dropping like it is, um, you know, I don't, I don't like those cards uh, being extinct. That's just how I'm feeling. But the rest of the market is no stranger to these price drops as well. I'm taking a hit right now and a loss on Guru Riton. It looks like she's rebounding back up. But with all the Future Stars cards dropping yesterday, what did the rest of the market do? As people were like, oh my goodness, the, these Future Star cards are dropping, they're tanking. Everybody started to sell everything, and there was panic everywhere. Guru went from 362, where I bought one of these like two days ago or three days ago, all the way down to 270. And it looks like now she's back up to almost 325. So maybe an opportunity to sell right there and minimize the loss on a rare card because I still think it's going to stay a little bit lower than 300K for this Guru Re10 card, even though it's out of packs. It was really a market correction. And we did mention that in yesterday's video. We, I mentioned that, hey guys, I just feel like with these cards and the, as cheap as they are, it's going to end up hurting the market. And I wouldn't be surprised if prices dropped more. Now, I can't lie. I wasn't expecting prices to drop this much. I won't lie, man. I did not expect to see Guru Re10 at 300 under 300k yesterday 270 in fact like that's a huge drop off in price and maybe Lindsay Horan another card that maybe some of you had invested in from a road to the final standpoint now when I look at some of these road to the finals I also see the price drops as another opportunity right I actually picked up a couple Ganduzi at 110 just because they play um, on I think they play on Tuesday or Wednesday against Bayern and Byron lost yesterday, so I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, oh, you're telling me there's a chance Lazio could maybe do it. Well, Lazio is a lot different of a team than uh, Leverkusen is, right? So I just picked up a couple of these, though, because I still feel like heading into a game where their potential upgrades are on the line for a draw or a win, I still like the road to the final players that are low, especially the ones that play this week. So do a little research, find ones there, and if the price is low, then maybe you can go for it. But a lot of these weren't even impacted that much because they're live cards and they're still really rare. Cruz is still 2 8. Fati, Darwin Nunez, still up a lot in price. Um, Lucy Braun, still good. Don Ruma, still good. Maybe down a couple K. So there wasn't a lot of worry there. It's just some of the other promo teams. Um, Bernardo Silva's 92K. Wow. Jamal Mustiala, I'm pretty sure was 230. And he's going back up now. Is that a fact? 259. Maybe he wasn't 230, but he went from 300K yesterday. And even on like Thursday, Mustiala was 350. Like the market's really dropped off in these past couple of days and it's starting to hurt the out of packs market as well. Team of the Year honorable mentions, some of the fire and ice cards, some of those promos that remember when we had all of our complaints in the last couple of weeks before Team of the Year and even during Team of the Year that, oh my goodness, Nate, these cards are so difficult to pack. They're so hard to pack. They're, nobody's getting them. The prices are super high on these cards and they're inflated well. Here's our market correction on a lot of these cards that were probably a little bit too inflated, to be honest. And especially with new and better cards coming out, they're getting replaced. That's the honest truth. Firmino from 230 down to 150. 
Laura drop. But as you can see with some of these rare out of packs cards, time it right, you can get some flips. Kind of like I did with the Rodman. Firmino is about to go from 150 to 170. Now, cards that are still pretty safe and stable. If you have a team of the year, you're sitting pretty. I'll say it. Team of the year cards are still doing, for the most part, pretty good. Now, there were some panic selling drops yesterday, like this Millie Bright card. I saw her all the way down at 720, I think. 721. Look at this. From 790, 800K, down to 720. Boom. Right back up to 790. The cards that are rare, that are really hyped, like these team of the years are, if they had some price drop offs yesterday, most of them rebounded straight back up, or they're just down a little bit from where they were. Um, Karchawi didn't move that much. Sam Kerr looks to be a little bit low. I mean, we have had some really good attackers, right? That would maybe make a price like hers dip a little bit. Team of the year men's cards, I look through, and I don't see too many of these that are down a ton. Rodri still 3.1. I mean, Allison's up, 675, that's up. Ruben Diaz is still 4 million coins. So it's not really impacting these cards that much. It's more so impacting like the honorable mentions, some of the road to the finals, and then also some of those older out of pack specials from like the versus fire and ice promo and stuff a few weeks back, like winter wild cards as well. There were a lot of cards that are just down yesterday because the whole market is dropping as people want to try these new cards out. So the next question is, as after we blabbered about that for a long time, will there be more price drops today? That might be the next question that some of you guys are asking. And to be honest with you, I think that depends on today's content with the amount of price drop offs that we saw yesterday. Like the fact that the Boniface was down at 330 is like, he was down 40%, 30 to 40% of price. And I was like, that's too much for a one day drop, especially when these cards are so hyped as Harvey Elliott right now is showing a flipping for 70 K guys. I don't know if I'm going to like just buy Harvey Elliott and then try to sell him to, Oh my gosh, he's still 70 K. That's crazy, man. I just can't see a world in which some of these cards rebound back up a little bit today. 60 AK is unreal for this Harvey Elliott who I literally sold for double that 130,000 coins. I sold them for double that man, 130 K yesterday. And right now it's 68 K. So if I can snag a couple of those on snipe, you best believe that I will. Cause I think that some of them will have a little bit of a rebound this morning as people will wake up and see, Oh my goodness, they're this cheap. And if we don't have good content today, if it's kind of a slow day, then I think that this will probably be one of the low points for these cards. So that's kind of the risk you're playing with today. If there's bad content today, I think these cards can go up. I think some of the rest of the market, like the road to the finals and some other stuff that was panic sold could go up. But if the content is good today, if we get a really good icon pick, or you know what guys, I know we're on the every other week streak here. We could get a hero pick today, but if we get a hero pick, it better not include base heroes because I'm tired of base heroes and we're, we're past that. It's February 11th now. We need to be past base heroes but if we get a really good one of those picks today if we get a really good player spc there could be a few more drops on the market but then i think it should start to fizzle out late sunday night usually into mondays mondays haven't been that amazing for the market um but it has meant a little bit of a climb and then on tuesday sometimes you see a bit more of a climb and then wednesday that's how last week worked i know these cards aren't live but i would argue that these cards almost have more hype than last week's cards even though last week's were live it's just these cards are more supplied. So I'm a little worried about these cards still because they're going to run lightning rounds today. They're going to do a lot more of that. But I think today depends on this type of SBC for how our prices move in the next couple of days. Now let's talk about this content once more. What's EA going to do? Because I mean, a hero would be kind of in line on the schedule, right? Every other week, hero pack, uh, icon pack, right? Or pick, right? So it could be a hero pick today, but we have icons and packs. We have the future stars icon. So it would only make sense if they were to drop some sort of icon pick. Who did we sell? Arda Guler for 99k. We just bought that for what I have 80, 85. Let's go, man. These cards lazy sell so good too. I'm going to trade with these all week long, but um, it would make sense for them to drop an icon upgrade pack while icons are in packs, even though it probably wouldn't include right one of these future star icon players so um watch out for that today if you think it's going to be an icon pick refreshed i'll tell you this much i think you need to invest in 88s because those have been the cards that move the most i know they're already up but maybe you try to snag some on bid today when squad battle rewards get released guys a lot of people are getting squad battle rewards today um, and those are all tradable the packs aren't that good but that's going to bring a little bit of supply to the market and that will make some people maybe go do sbcs but it'll also bring some supply for fodder that you might be able to bid on maybe a slight dip and then you can bid in there and then hope for content to make those rise but if we don't get an icon pick and we get a hero pick i think you're going to want to go in on maybe some 84s on bid if you can get them for like 
4K for 84s, I think that might be the best you can do with the 85 plus being out. You might have to try to get 2.4K on those. But 85s, I think 85s in the low 6K range would be a pretty solid investment as well. Because if we do get a hero pick, I think that would be the part of the fodder market that would go up more because hero picks are usually cheaper than icon picks. And when it comes to icons, or sorry, not icons, team of the weeks, I don't think I look at team of the weeks right now. And uh, I, I don't think I look at them as a potential investment vehicle for this week because what are they like 18 19k are they over 20 19,000 coins for team of the weeks but we don't have an 83 times 10 we don't have something that is that repeatable that is that grindable that everybody needs informs for every single day multiple times per day so maybe if a hero pick or an icon pick requires informs today maybe you have a bit of a quick spike but i don't think it would last that long unless it is multiple times like if they do an 83 times 10 or an 84 times 5 with an inform requirement that sort of thing could make informs go up but i would just wait and make a, a quick investment after you see an sbc like that drop rather than try to invest beforehand and then try to time it so that's kind of what i'm thinking for that sort of content today and then we do have a player SBC still on the horizon, guys, and this could impact the market today even more on the attacking side of things because, man, with how the player SBCs have been so far, this one could be an absolute banger. Pedro Neto is still leaked to come as a Future Stars SBC. Now, I don't think it's a guarantee that it comes today, but the fact that it's leaked already at least makes me think potentially it could be today. I also have a little bit of a theory that this, unless, you know, I don't know, with EA, you never know, but this could even be our SBC next Friday for Team 2 of Future Stars when they also might drop, in my opinion, the next Academy Evo. Like, I'm almost thinking that if we don't get this Academy Defenders pack today and the Defenders Evo, I think they might try to save some of that hype for Team 2 and next week. That's my thought. I don't know what you guys think. That just seems like kind of a... If you're EA, you would want to try to extend the hype over both promos, right? I'm really anticipating this Defenders Evo pack, right? Also, if you do that on next Friday, it gives people more time to get the attackers one done. But I'm just I'm envisioning that next week. If it's today, I'll be surprised, whatever. And that's cool because we'll have it out. But I'm just thinking it might be a little bit later on. Maybe even the same thing with Pedro Neto. So I know there's a lot of hype for this uh, SBC. Usually Romania, this guy on Twitter, tweets out like the flag and like the like an hourglass waiting symbol. If it's going to come that day of content, he kind of, I see, I guess, seems to know ahead of time. So watch out for that. But if this drops and it's a good price and has two play style pluses, it's definitely going to impact Premier League attackers and probably a lot of attackers in general because this card is very hyped this year as a very meta item. So I would watch out for that. And then other Evos, I mean, there is a power-up Evo that is leaked. And I thought there was another, wasn't there another Evo that was called like power-up or something? um that was for like the heroes or for the icons i don't even know man i'm it, there's so many evo names now like the only evo name that i really want to remember is rttk mystery of the goo because that one was just cool and different but this one's called power up evo is set to come soon what position should it be so it looks like they're going all out with the evos at least in terms of the quantity not necessarily with the quality right that we saw yesterday for the future stars attacking midfielder um but yeah, another Evo is leaked. Could that be today? Potentially. Also might not be until a little bit later on. But I do think we'll get a player SBC today of some sort. I would be very shocked if we didn't. And then potentially as well, more store packs. So uh, yeah, more store packs today. Refreshing lightning rounds. They haven't run the crazy lightning rounds. I mean, they've got LRs that are going in here almost all the time. And they're still dropping like those 86 plus packs. I wouldn't call those that crazy of lightning round packs for sure. Uh, ooh, I got an 83 times 10 from objectives and an 84 fort. I don't want to have too many dupes. Actually, yes, I do. I've got the 85 double to do. Let's do an 83 times 10 to end the video off today. Still no future stars for me, man. I'm surely going to have a dupe in here. It is Sandra Panos. Double walk me out. Come on. The double walk out on an 83 10 and we take those. Bro, if they bring this SBC back for future stars, that would be so cracked. But I think since the 85 double is out, we won't get it. Koble, 287s. Probably the most common 87s as well, both goalkeepers. I won't complain. We'll take it. Ooh, an 86. Ooh, and Neuer. All right, that's cracked, man. Okay, is this a tradable Sandra Panos? If not, okay, I'm going to have to some thinking to do that. No more exchange SBCs, so I'm going to have to craft that into something here. Maybe I'll go Claudia Pena. That's a little high rated for that. I don't know. I'll figure it out off stream, guys. And uh, yes, I got to play some Weekend League today as well, which I would love to use one of the Boniface, Boniface cards that I just got because this guy is still unbelievable. And I know he's actually approaching like 380K and that footbin is lying to me with that price right there. 
But uh, yeah, if I'm playing champs today, this guy's going to be in my team because my goodness, this card is next freaking level. Yeah, he's 380k with this 359 undercut flipping. If you're going to do a flipping undercut, like at least show him at like 340 so I can sit here and try to snipe him. Yeah, okay, it got bought anyway. So we'll sell that card for some profit because I have a couple of those. And uh, yeah, we are going to have some more fun with that card today because he is just... Uh, him for lack of a better term so guys the market is crashing player prices are down but honestly it's because we have good solid content and packable players that are just dragging the prices down because people want to use the new and improved stuff the fresh stuff which is i think the most fun part of this game like if i was against trying new players i would have never found this boniface card and thought that he was that cool and i love it so gg's ea for dropping good content and we'll continue to ride the wave even if it costs us a few coins we'll make some coins out of the whole ordeal but even if it costs a few coins, we're happy that it's good content, at least right now. At least better than what it has been. So, again, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan with Accountant. See you guys in a video today. It's tomorrow and a stream today. Peace.